Hi, I'm Bill Aaron with ECS. Now that we've done the pre-prep and the installation of our nitrogen generator, it's time to program it. Step one will be to turn the power on. Step two is going to be verify that we have the three-way valve in the horizontal position. The horizontal position is the nitrogen mode. The vertical position is the air bypass mode. We'll discuss when you use that later. The nitrogen generators are all pre-tested before they leave our office and they're pre-programmed for a turn on pressure of 30 psi and a turn off pressure of 60 psi. In our application today we want to change the turn on pressure to 25 psi and the turn off pressure to 70 psi. So step one will be, we'll adjust the turn off pressure. To do that, we're going to push the bite right button and we're going to hold it for two seconds. The word set is going to come up. The cutout pressure 60 will then uh, be displayed. If you push the center button, that display will start, will start flashing. At that point, we're going to raise it or lower it. Raising it is the left button, lowering is the right button. We're going to take it up to 70 PSI, then hit the center button. That portion is programmed. Push the right button one time. The turn on pressure will be displayed. At that point, press the center button. That display will be displayed to you. In turn, you can push the left button to raise it or the right button to lower it. We're going to take it down to 25 PSI. and then press the center button. At that point, you can either wait and it will automatically come out of the programming function or you can push both the left and right button at the same time to get it out of the programming function. Once that portion is, is once it's been programmed, now it's time to turn it on and start verifying we're operating the system, the system's operating correctly. There's a couple of in informational points. Number one, there is a sampling port for measuring the nitrogen purity and there's also a flow meter that's used to determine the production rate of the nitrogen generator. In the owner's manual there's a description of the uh, production rates for all of the, the nitrogen generators. In turn, there is also a test report that's provided with every nitrogen generator when the system was tested. This particular one was producing 28 standard cubic feet, so we can use that as our reference to verify that everything is operating correctly. The first thing we're going to do is turn on the nitrogen generator and get it to start producing nitrogen. To do that, there is a ball valve right behind the flow meter that you can open up. By doing that, what you're doing is you're releasing the air pressure in the supply line that the, the controller is monitoring and to allow it to decrease down to the uh, turn on pressure to turn on the nitrogen generator. So we open it up. Once it's been opened up, and don't forget, there is an eight second timer before the generator turns on. Once the generator is turned on, we will let it operate and run for five to ten minutes to allow the nitrogen generator to come up to operating pressure. The best method for doing that is to close the door and allow the generator to run during that time. And while it's running, you want to make sure that that T-ball valve or that flow meter is open because we want that air, the gas, to be leaking out of it so that it will continue to run. Now that the nitrogen generator is operating at the operating, proper operating temperatures, we can now check the purity and check the production rate to verify if the generator is operating correctly. The first step we want to do is we want to calibrate our handheld gas analyzer. To do that, first we're going to turn it on. We're going to push the left button to turn it on. And to calibrate it, we're going to push and hold the triangle button. I'd like to remove the plastic hose, push the right button, 
move it around, get some airflow through there. What we're doing is we're referencing the air we breathe to calibrate it. The word CAL is going to show up when you push that button, and then 79.1 to 79, 79 to 79.0 will display. Once that's been done, the handheld gas analyzer has been calibrated. Reconnect plastic hose, and now we can check our nitrogen purity. To check our nitrogen purity, there's a quick disconnect inside the nitrogen generator. Push and hold, click, and monitor as the purity increases. Ideally, we are looking for 98%. As it's climbing up, we can check the production rate through the flow meter. This particular unit should be producing approximately 28 standard cubic feet per hour. What we're looking for is the center ball of the, the silver ball to be approximately 28 to 30 standard cubic feet. The thing to remember when you're working with a nitrogen generator that uses membrane technology is that the higher the production rate, the lower the purity. The lower the production rate, the higher the purity. The way that's accomplished is through a needle valve. There's a needle valve that's in the, air or the nitrogen flow line that can be used to adjust it. If you turn it counterclockwise, your production rate will raise. Now that we've checked our nitrogen purity and we've verified that our production rate is as within its limits, we can disconnect the handheld gas analyzer. The next thing is we want to close the valve and allow the generator to fill up and cut off. Once it, once it fills up and cuts off, we want to verify we don't have any leaks between the nitrogen generator and your air maintenance device or your sprinkler system. With the air maintenance device closed off, the pressure should climb up to its cutout pressure, the generator will shut off, and the display will turn green. Now that the nitrogen generator has met its cutout pressure and the generator shut off, we want to monitor the pressure on the digital controller to verify we do not have any leaks between the nitrogen generator and your air maintenance device. If that pressure stays constant, we don't have any leaks. If that pressure starts decreasing, then we've got a leak we need to find. That leak is going to be between this solenoid and the air maintenance device. Not repairing those leaks will have an adverse effect on the nitrogen generator and cause you issues in the future. Now that, we're, now that we have the gen nitrogen generator has been commissioned, it's time to turn everything on and make sure we're operational. Number one, you want to make sure that your air maintenance device valves are all in the open and normal position. Number two, the nitrogen generation mode, horizontal, we want to verify it's in that mode. Now, when you're starting to fill the system initially after you've worked on it, your first step will be to turn the valve in the vertical position. By that, what we're doing is we're taking air straight from the air compressor and sending air out to the system so we can meet the NFPA 30 minute fill requirement. Once the system has filled up to approximately the turn on pressure of the nitrogen generator, it's best to bring the valve back into the normal position into the nitrogen mode and allow it to fill with nitrogen the last three to five pounds of that pressure. This does two things. One, make sure the nitrogen generator is operating correctly, and two, it verifies that the air maintenance device is functioning properly with the nitrogen generator. This concludes the commissioning portion of the nitrogen generator. If you have any questions, you can contact us at ecscorrosion.com or you can call us at 314-432-1377. Thank you.